In this video, we're going to learn about midpoints and segment bisectors. And the first thing we're going to talk about is midpoints. So if we think about the word midpoint, notice that it has two parts, mid and point. Mid should make you think of the word middle, and point should make you think of the word point. So if we were to draw a line segment, and let's call it AB, the midpoint for this line segment would be the point that is directly in the middle of the line segment. So that would be about right here, and I'll call it M for midpoint. So because a midpoint has to be exactly in the middle, if we knew that the whole line segment was 10 units long, that would mean that with the midpoint in there, each half would have to be 5 units long. And in fact, each half is a half. So that's the basic idea of a midpoint. Now you also need to know how to calculate a midpoint for a line segment on a graph. Or if you were given two endpoints, how would you calculate the midpoint that would exist if you were to connect those points? You have to do that too. So first, let's just create a line segment on this graph. I'm going to work with the point negative 4, 5 and the point 2, 1. And let's say we want to figure out the midpoint of the segment that connects these two points. So let's draw in the segment in order to first visualize where the midpoint would be. Now by just looking, you might be able to guess that the midpoint is about right here because that looks to be right in the middle. And in fact, that is the answer. This is the midpoint. It's the point negative 1, 3. Now if we look at the coordinates for the original points and the midpoint, you should notice something. The x-coordinate of negative 1 is exactly in the middle of the two original x-coordinates of negative 4 and 2. If we take negative 4 and 2 and average those two numbers, so that means add them up and divide by 2, we will get negative 1, which was the x-coordinate of our midpoint. If we do the same thing now with the y-coordinates, we'll see that 3 is the average of the original y-coordinates 5 and 1. It's directly in between the points 5 and 1. So 5 plus 1 is 6 divided by 2 is 3. And this gives us the general midpoint formula that to find the midpoint of a line segment created by two other points, you average the x-coordinates and average the y-coordinates. So if you're given your two x-coordinates, you average them, add them up, and divide by 2, and you get your answer for your x-coordinate for the midpoint, and do the same thing for the y-coordinates. All right, now we're going to talk about segment bisectors. So you might remember from before that a bisector cuts something in half. So a segment bisector is something that cuts a line segment in half. So if we start out with a line segment, now a segment bisector would be any line, line segment, or ray that cuts this segment in half. So it could look like this. Assuming that this length is now the same as this length, that would be a segment bisector. Now there's a specific type of segment bisector that you will see a lot that's called a perpendicular bisector. Now a perpendicular bisector is special because the angle that the, the line and the original segment intersect at has to be 90 degrees. In other words, the two lines have to be perpendicular, meet at 90 degrees. So an example of that would be, here's our segment, and then draw in a perpendicular line, and assuming that this distance is the same, oops, this distance is the same as this distance, then that is a perpendicular bisector. And it's important to just remember that perpendicular bisector has the two key parts, that the two lines have to be perpendicular, and the bisector has to actually bisect or cut in half, divide in two, the other segment. Okay, so that means again, if this was two units long, this also has to be two units long, if that's actually a perpendicular bisector. 
Right now, you should look at the next video, which will go through a couple of examples related to this concept.